students so in this video we are going to talk about army institute of law mohali now we got many requests from students right where they were asking sir what is the procedure to get into army institute of law there were certain students who said that sir are we even eligible to uh, write the exam to get into army institute of law because the perception among the student is that only those whose parents are from army they can get into this institute Let's let's burst this myth and let's try to understand what is the admission procedure. Does you belonging to army family has something to do with the admission or not? All these questions will be answered in this video. So let's get started now. First of all, let's look into the split of seats, right? So in total, there are hundred seats in this college. This college offers only one program that is B L L B Honors, and for that one program, there are three different division of seats although there are 100 seats these 100 seats are distributed in three verticals one 75 seats out of 100 seats are reserved for students who are uh, having army background that means 75 seats so wards of army personnel will be done through this exam right so out of 100 75 seats for are for students who have army background as in their parents are from army when I say army, that doesn't include Air Force or Navy. There is only a special condition under which uh, Air Force service or Navy services can be considered for Army Institute of Law. That is, if your parent are from actually Army, there are such regiments, such corps from the Army, as like Army Medical Corps, like, and, but they are serving in some other sector. That means you are originally from Army, but you are serving in some other service because cross service transfer can happen so if that is the case then you are eligible otherwise purely of parent should be from army right and five seats are reserved for all India category students now this is what I was talking about when I told to students that civilians as well can apply for this particular graduation program but the problem seems to be the number of seats because only five seats are given to students from all India category right and rest 20 seats are reserved for Punjab category students that means who are domiciled in Punjab now why is this the case the army institute of law Mohali is affiliated to Punjab university and the understanding between the Punjab university and army institute of law Mohali is that army institute of Mohali will take at least 20 students as in it's given here right 20 students will be taken for this particular course right for those 20 seats you don't need to write any exam, right? That 20 seats will be filled through a merit list which will be drawn by any of the nominated university. What is that? That means if you are from Punjab, right? Then you don't need to apply for any exam. You just need to get a good score in your class 12th and AL Mohali will nominate or Punjab University as in will nominate a uni any other college, right? For example, last time it was, I guess, Guru Nanak Dev College it was given this duty of selecting these 20 students but the procedure remains same you, will, you are going to submit your class 12 certificate and the person who scores higher or the merit list is drawn and the top 20 students are enrolled in this category so 20 of this category category will be directly from class 12 scores 5 seats of all India category and 75 seats for people from army background will be done through this exam called army institute of law online law entrance test online let now what is this online let before that let's look at the eligibility criteria the only eligibility criteria is that apart from if you fall under any of the category that means first category was you're from army background second category doesn't require any as such special requirements third category was you should be from punjab apart from that the minimum of requirement is you should get 45 percent score in your class 12th if you are appearing in your class 12th right now then you will be given the admission but that will be subject to that when your results will be out it will be more than 45 percent right so this particular thing is provided by Punjab University as I have told you Army Institute of Law is affiliated to Punjab University now what is the exam pattern of AL Mohali online LET law entrance test the syllabus is this the total number of questions are going to be 200 right for 200 marks each section there are four sections each section con contains 50 questions and the weightage for each section is equal equally distributed that is 50 marks that is mental ability will have 50 questions for 50 marks general knowledge and current affairs 
together will have 50 questions for 50 marks. Law aptitude will have 50 questions for 50 marks. And general English will have 50 questions for 50 marks. Now, students were also asking, sir, what is the uh, what is the nature of questions that is asked, right? So if you if you follow uh, the instructions given in the class, or even if you look at the book that we have provided, our foundation books and the skill builder books, you will see that there are a lot of principal facts based question and there are a lot of static one word answer questions also. All these type of questions will be asked in law. Similarly, general knowledge and current affairs can be done through our general knowledge book that is provided at the foundation level and the current affairs magazine that is provided by Abhyas every week. Similarly, English and mental ability. Mental ability will include in a way logical and a mix of AR and quantitative kind of questions. So a mix of questions can be seen in mental ability and then you have general English. So together 200 for 200 marks. Now, the best part or probably the thing which which fascinates students about Army Institute of Mohali is the placements at AL Mohali. Now, if you look at the placements, I have taken the placements of last 3-4 years, right? Post-pandemic, I have no data of post-pandemic placements, but before pandemic, the placements are absolutely to the point. That means, uh, almost all the students who appeared or who sat for placement, they all got selected. This is the placement data as per the AL Mohali's website. So total number of students were in 1780 graduating batch, right? Where 77 out of this 76 students passed out and number of students who asked for placement were 37 and all 37 got placed by 18 companies that have visited. For 37 students who got placed, 18 companies visiting, this ratio of companies visiting and the students being picked, even this is a very important factor that the student need to consider if they are calculating placement as one of the thing to get into a college. That means if you're, if you're looking into placements of a college to consider whether to go or not, this remains one, of, one very important aspect. What are the number of companies visiting? Right? They may choose or they may not choose, but you want to make sure that a wide variety of companies visit you. Right? Here law firms, I have seen the list, there are law firms too, there are big MNCs which have visited the college. Similarly, if you look at 18-19 data, again 40 students sit for placement, all 40 get selected. 24 companies visit. This is year on year. Year on year there is a growth. So that's a very wonderful sign. Then we have here 32 students sit for placement and 26, 6, 26 students get selected and 11 companies visit this. Now this, this single data, the 21-22 data is a <coughs> little inconsistent with the other two data that I have provided. This may be because of the pandemic impact. So, we don't have data of 20 to 23 and we'll see if 23-24 data, that is this year's data is available. We'll definitely attach this uh, data along with this video. But as of now, what we have is before pandemic, wonderful 100% placement for the students who wished to sit for placement. And then after pandemic also, it's good impressive record, right? Let's talk about fees. Now, if you look at the fee, this, this is college one-time charge. That means you need it. You need to pay this in your first year when you join. That is 44,676 per person who belongs to army background. And for civil candidate, it is 49,676 rupees. Whereas if you talk about annual charge, this is the actual college fee that you're going to annually give every year. That is 1,30,315 for students from army background. And uh, 1,60,040 rupees for students who are from civil background. Right? And hostel time again, this is one time charge and this is annual charge. So, this charge as well as this charge is your one time charge. That means 24 plus 44, that's close to 70. Right? That much is one time charge. Apart from that, annually you are going to pay this 13 or 16 as the case may be. If you're from RV, 13. If you're civilian, let's consider you are civilian, then you are going to pay 16. Uh, 1 lakh 60 plus the hostel fee that is totaled to annual charge 94 right so that will be close to 2 lakh 50 that sums up right apart from that nearly 1 lakh uh, nearly close to 1 lakh 70 near 70 to 1 lakh you have to pay as one time fee out of this there is certain fee that is refundable that means you will get it back at the end of the fifth year right now what makes this college wonderful is the fact that it is very disciplined college because it is run by army wives, 
welfare association you know this that this is a society right which aims to bring discipline and education together right army school is also run by the same institution so army institute of law is also a private college which is run by the same body right so there is a lot of discipline involved and once there is a discipline involved there is a presumption that the learning is going on people presume that uh, the the students are equipped with knowledge so maybe that is one of the reason that why companies prefer going to al air mohali for their placement rates okay uh, with that we come to end i hope that this video was useful let's meet in another video similar to this if you have any request please use the comment box to drop your suggestion thank you so much